five years ago, I earned the moniker as the star teacher. Because according to them, I have reached the star. The question is not really on why I keep on reaching for the star, but rather, how do I make my students reach for their own stars? So this is all about becoming a better version of oneself, known as Pagpasanyog. As an Ilonggo, we have this indigenous knowledge system in a concept called Pagpasanyog. Again, becoming a better version of one's self. Because most of the time, we would hear from our fellow Ilonggos telling you, Sige lang bala. So it means you are already resigned to the situation that there's nothing can be done in your situation. Or they would console you with the idea, ay ahay, which simply translates as, what a pity. Kaluluoy. It means that you are already destined to be in that situation. And then, one way to congratulate someone in this part of the country is padayon. Padayon which means just go on. However, we also have another way of telling someone on how to become a better version of oneself each time, which is your pasanyog. There is a problem there because we cannot keep ourselves in whatever situation we are because we need to improve each time. And that is why in our country where there is a dearth of access to telescope viewing, I always make sure that this telescope is available to Filipino learners. Because in education, it's either you have quality instruction or access to it. However, quality is only achieved when one has an access to it. Therefore, I keep on bringing telescopes all over the country. And then, when others would have their PhD education in Japan for three to five years, I decided, why can't I finish it in two years? And then, I got my degree in a span of two years. When others would simply write research articles for the sake of publishing or as a mere requirement in their class, I decided, why don't I reach as to many readers possible? And so, I was awarded this Reader's Choice Award. They were not able to believe that I can reach as many science educators because of this article. For the information of the everyone, this article is about the characteristics of Filipinos in terms of science giftedness. But let us talk about pada uh, pasanyog rather than padayon in my classroom. What is padayon versus pasanyog? This picture shows one of the scale activities of our students. We have the pagwaragwag and we have your pagbahin. Now, in the case of padayon versus pagbahin, in pasanyog, we actually lay down what are the areas of instruction by which we can still improve. So, what we did was to conduct this so-called pagbahin. So, as you can see, on its first installation, we did it in Haniwai, Iloilo. And then, in the next installation, we decided, why don't we bring it to another 
area beyond the comfort zone of my students. And so, the second installation was held in Palawan. In the third installation of Pagbah Pagbahin, it was held in Kabatuan. However, the target as a form of Pasanyog was to engage as many partners. And then, we increased the number of participants from 500 to 800 participants. And then, in the fourth installation of Pagbahin, you will notice that we have Taytay, Rojas, and Il Nido. When we used to hold it in a span of one day, it was held in a span of one week, transferring from one municipality to another municipality. So we focus not on the number of participants or the number of events, but going back to the premise that science education must be accessible to learners or Filipinos. In our research class last year, when I raised the question, what is your pasanyog in research activity? The previous batch decided to hold another activity aside from the Science Research Congress named as Pagbalandra or a display. And to showcase that it was really a display, my students took time to have this unique opening ceremony, which is sustainable. And then, when most high school students in the Philippines would simply bind their thesis, my two previous uh, batches decided that when the curriculum simply requires to bind thesis, they decided to pasanyog. That pasanyog is in a form of coming up with a research journal, thereby we have this very first research journal of science researches in the Philippines. This is our group picture during the book launching here. And then last year, another pasanyog was made. They publicized it by bringing it to the public. The book launching was held in a mall in Haro. And then the, the previous batch did not settle with that form of pasanyog. They decided we need to open the, the wonders of science to as many readers possible and it must be free. They decided to make it available in the internet. So this journal is available in hard copy and in soft copy. So wherever you are in the world, as long as you have access in the internet, you can download all these research articles for free. And then, of course, there are challenges and drawbacks of Pasanyog. It appears to be setting higher goals than the previous one. However, I would remind my students that it really doesn't matter if that pasanyog is a small step. After all, the first persons who landed on the surface of the moon said, it's one small step for a man and it became a giant leap for mankind. So little by little, one step at a time, we can do pasanyog. And so, I would always remind them that there is so much in the universe to be explored. There is so much to be learned. There is so much we can think of as a pasanyog. Thank you very much. <laughs>